Let's say you wanted to utilize the power of ELMS to create an environment that can rapid prototype and showcase potential functionality to a faculty member, uh, or just utilize the tool as a pure CMS without connecting it to any of your courses that you currently have. Or maybe you want to make something for internal purposes only. To do that, we're going to create a sandbox. Sandbox leverages the functionality of a course version without being associated to a course. Another advantage of a sandbox is that you can also associate it to a course at a later date, if this is a true prototype. It has all the same options that the prototype normally would. Let's use a lesson outline. We'll just say it's two. Could also use this to create um, massively open online courses that are disconnected from the rest of the courses that you offer because you could just make them OER. So now I have my sandbox. The name changes to whatever this sandbox is named because there's no course that's been provided. And you're off and ready to go. You can add all the same functionality that you put any normal version. It's just been disconnected from the rest of the courses. To find these and actually get back to them, see if we go to my profile, I'll get a list of my course versions in which prototype demo shows up there still. If I go back to system home, you'll see it doesn't show up in the list here, but if I go to sandboxes, it will show up in sandboxes and it will still be available under OER because it was marked as an OER course version.